Hi everyone, I'm Pei Xuan Jiang, and this is the project report presentation of the Power Electric course. So our group member are Pei Xuan Jiang, Wen Wenhe, and Xiang Ming Song. So today we have six part two uh, share with you guys. The first is the abstract uh, project uh, objectives, introduction and background, proposed design and approach, timeline and Gantt chart. Finally is the conclusion and references. Let's start with the abstract. The World Energy Crisis and Energy con con uh, Conservation and Emission Reduction makes uh, distributed renewable energy such as PV becomes more and more important nowadays. And this research is mainly focused on the four-stage DCC converter of PV generation system, and this structure will introduce the following. Uh, and the characteristic of the distributed renewable energy power generation so a uh, single phase four brace inverter and controlled rectifying DC DC circuit are designed considering the electrical isolation performance, high conversion efficiency, low cost with small area voltage and the current ripple. Then uh, parameter specification are presented and the model will be built and simulated with simulink after parameter calculation and component choosing. So for this project we have three objectives. Uh, first is based on the consideration of the electric isolation, the uh, topology selection study in this project focused on the topology selection of the pre-stage DCDC. And then we considering the following from, uh, factors when choosing the topology. Uh, electric isolation performance, high conversion efficiency, low cost, small area uh, voltage, and the kind of ripple, etc. And finally, we design a uh, Single phase four bridge inverter on control uh, rectifying DC DC circuit for the pre stage circuit of the two stage PV power generation system to meet the requirement of the uh, stage grade connection and uh, improves the efficiency. So let's introduce some of the background here. In the context of the world energy crisis and energy conservation and uh, emission reduction, Distributed energy has been widely paid attention to for its clean environmental protection and renewable characteristic. More and more access to the uh, power grid. And distributed energy is mostly DC power supply with low voltage level and unstable working states such as wind power, uh, tidal energy, and uh, solar uh, energy, which are greatly affected by the weather or climate. Among the numerous uh, renewable energy resources, solar energy has, be, uh, has a characteristic of the inexhaustible, is the ideal renewable energy, because PV power generation as an important application of solar energy has been uh, gradually popularized. As the renewable energy sources, the working state of PV is relatively unstable and changing with the influence of sunlight. When the PV is in, uh, covered to the power grid, the extra attention should be paid to its power quality to avoid the impact and the uh, inter interference to the power grid. So this requires the use of power electric technology in the booster, inverter, production, control, and other uh, technologies on the PV grid connection. And for PV power generation, because output uh, voltage of single phase Inverter is usually 220 volts AC and DC DC converter of the pre previous stage is required to have a higher booster uh, booster ratio. At the same time, the applied grid, uh, grid connected PV system is usually the low voltage BIPV system, so uh, which focuses on a single grid connected inverter with rated power below uh, 10k watts. Therefore, the use of DC-DC single-phase isolation circuit in the PV power generation system is considered. At present, the boost plus four bridge inverter is the mainstream choice in single-phase high-frequency grid connected system. Um, its main circuit topology and the control is simple and reliable, but this topology doesn't have electric isolation. Uh, of course, if you adding a public frequency transformer, Isolation in the upper stage in virtual will solve this, but it will you know, cause the efficiency of the um, system decrease and the volume and the weight increase. So that's why we need this project to do some optimization here. Uh, next, we have one more to, uh, to introduce the next part.
Hello, everyone. I'm Wen Wenhe. Now, I'm going to make an introduction about the proposed design and approach of our project. In this design project, the whole circuit is shown here. As for the first stage of this circuit, we design an appropriate CCM boost PFC with a PID controller. In this circuit, we apply a method called the hysteresis current control. The current reference will generate the upper limit and the lower limit that are called the hysteretic band. When the current reference reaches the minimum value, the switch in the boost converter is turned on. And when the current reference reaches the maximum value, the switch is turned off. Two voltage sources apply to an inductor. One voltage is fixed, and the other voltage is adjusted with high frequency PWN which means the duty ratio adjustment to help us get the desired inductor currents. And as for the second stage of this current circuit, we design a transformer isolated DC-DC converter. In this fast shifted full bridge converter, we control the fast shift angle to change the value of the duty cycle, thereby adjusting the outcome output current and the output voltage. In this circuit, we also use a double PI controller for APFC and the PSFB. In practice, we rarely use a PID controller, since the impact of the feedback noise on the derivative term is very large. However, the inner and outer control loops with PI controller are often used in engineering design. The overall circuit will be designed in this project is shown here. And it includes power source, full wave rectifier, boost PFC converter, full bridge isolated DC DC bar converter, and the load. The symbols and for the parameters are shown below. Please take a look. The boost converter is shown in the left corner. As for the boost converter, when the switch is closed, the diode is reversed by and when the switch is open, the inductor current cannot change instantaneously. By using my CAD here, we can calculate the parameters in boost circuits. The full bridge isolated bar converter is shown in the right corner. As for this circuit, we denote that T is the interval and D is the duty cycle. During the first sub-interval 0 to DT, transistors Q1 and Q4 conduct and the transform primary voltage is Vg. This positive voltage can cause the magnetizing current to increase. Then, the voltage appearing across each half of the center tapped secondary winding is NVG, where N is the terse ratio. And in our project, the value of N is equals to two. During the time dt to t, all four transistors are switched off. Alternatively, Transistor Q2 and Q4 could conduct. All the transistor Q1 and Q3 could conduct. The next switching period proceeds in a similar manner. Here, by using my CD, we can calculate the parameters in this circuit. As for the whole circuit, we combine the boost PFC circuit with the full bridge isolated bar converter. The whole simulation circuit is shown on the top. Besides, we also design a PID controller here. Please take a look. By simulating the whole circuit and by observing the curve figures, the output, cur the output voltage is nearly 385 volts, and the voltage ripple is smaller than 0.5 volts. The output current is nearly 13 amperes and the current ripple is smaller than 0.65 ampere. Besides, we also calculate the efficiency of this circuit. Here, the efficiency is 98.66%, which is larger than the 93%. It has met the requirement that the efficiency should be larger than 93%. Hello everyone, I'm Xiaomi Song. I will show the rest of our presentation. First is a discussion of our project. 
In terms of the selection of module, there are three shortcomings of Boost for Bridge Inward. First is that there is no electrical isolation. Then the efficiency of the system is really low. Finally, the volume and weight is really large. So we made a DC to AC to DC single phase isolation circuit. It has a high boost ratio, which makes the efficiency high. And the electrical isolation is considered within our circuit. To evaluate our circuit, we need to know five parameters. Electrical isolation performance, conversion efficiency, circuit cost, current and voltage ripple, and the final output voltage. The level of electrical isolation performance cannot be obtained by a specific analog value, so we need to test it through experiment. Then we want our efficiency can be more than 90%. And to make sure project can be connected to the power grid, output voltage should be 300 and uh, 8 tape voltage. Next to the next, the expected value of output voltage report is 3.5 times the to peak value of output voltage. And the ripple of output current is 5% of output current. Finally, the total budget should be within 1000 yuan. After the calculation and the simulation, we get the result of analog circuit. First, the conversion efficiency is more than 98%, which is far higher than the expected value. Then the output value is stable at about 385 voltage, which meets the requirements. Considering the potential drop in the actual line, it's not a bad thing that the output voltage is slightly higher. Next, the output voltage ripple is about 0.49 voltage, and the output current ripple is about 0.65 ampere. Both value meets the expect, expected value. Finally, after the searching the related equipment on the internet, we can calculate the total cost of our circuit is about uh, 600 yuan. The next part is the timeline of a project. You can see I we have detailed the tasks and the time spent in each phase. After discussing the result of the circuit project, our group are going to build the circuit in the lab and evaluate the funding of project based on the actual equipment selecting. Finally, the circuit will be projected to various electrical ex experiment. We have learned a lot through this project. First of all, our group learned how to apply the knowledge from textbooks and assignments to the actual uh, circuit uh, construction. We also mastered how to conduct a background uh, investigation for, of the project and analyze the drawbacks of the existing design so that we can optimize the circuit. Finally, the calculation and stimulation of the circuit is also a way to strengthen our group society, uh, society uh, ability. Finally, here is our conclusion of the project. First, uh, the two-stage DC-to-DC convert with boost converter and four-bridge convert can meet the requirements of uh, power generation system and the uh, converter can be used in other low voltage input and high voltage output situations. The, the design of two stage structure and electrical isolation can ensure the stability and safety of the whole circuit. Finally, compared with the traditional boost circuit, our converter improves the conversion efficiency and the cost of our circuit is really low.
Therefore, we really want to develop this circuit and use it to save more energy. Thanks for your watching. Bye.